What's up you guys, it is me obviously and today I thought I'd do something which I've not done for quite a while now which is answer you guys questions. So last time I did one of these was back in July where I talked about loving feet. So I thought I'd give you guys a bit of context as to why I started these videos. So I started like reading comments videos quite a while ago, I think about four years ago where I read your comments and there were some hate comments and some other comments as well. Yo guys, Jay's World TV here and welcome back to this video and today I thought I'd read some of your comments because I've been seeing that you've been commenting loads of stuff in my videos recently which is good and a lot of you guys liked it so I've kept doing it for over the last four years and it's become ever so popular ever since the point where sometimes these videos are more viral than other videos on the channel so that was a bit of backstory as to why I started these reading comments videos so yeah, don't forget to like in this video, subscribe, shout do all the things I'm gonna get some water and let's get this video Side, shall we? Alright, I've got my phone here, which you can see is full of sweat marks. Not sure if this camera's gonna pick it up. I need to get a new phone case, but I keep like putting it off and forgetting to buy one. But anyway, first question McDonald's, Burger King, or Chipotle? Now, I'm not sure about Chipotle because I've never actually tried Chipotle before. I presume it's like an American question because someone must have thought I was American. But no, I am British, so the other thing I know from those McDonald's and Burger King. So I'd probably say. McDonald's because I've not been to Burger King in like years. Like, last time I went to Burger King was a few years ago. I was like stopping by I think and I got this like burger and to be honest it didn't really taste that good. I'm not really a huge Burger King fan so I'd say from this choice I'd say McDonald's. Do you have any more old books that you tried to write? Okay so a few videos ago I did a video where I reacted to one of my old books which I found whilst I was like sorting through stuff and sorting through like old boxes and I found like old books which I wrote when I was like 12 or 13 and it was a really interesting book it was about this like family doing really weird stuff you know, I wrote that book and I was going to write it and publish it but that never sort of materialised I need to sort this like light out my ring light out because it's flashing My dad! Hi! New lighting. So yeah, about the books. Uh, I do have more books in like other boxes as well which I've found but I'm not sure. I'm sure I do but I haven't really looked for those boxes yet but I'm sure there is because I remember I wrote that book and I also wrote another book as well to the point where I was even like doing the like, illustrations and other things for that other book as which I've not mentioned yet so I'm not sure if I still have it though so I'll have a look. What was the last picture you took on your phone? Okay so I have my phone here with me actually. Okay, so the last picture I took was something to do with work, so I can't really show it. You're not going to see anything because I'm going to blur it out, but you can see my, the blinds. Um, so that's technically the last picture which I've took on my phone. What do I do with a frozen burr head that I found outside? It's minus 20 and the ground is frozen. I'm not sure what you mean there. I presume it's like a frozen burr head. I don't know, like a frozen like burrs and like an animal. I'm not sure really because you can't really take the burr out and take it into your car to warm it up so I'm not sure. Maybe like put a blanket over it or I don't know try and lift it into a barn. I'm not sure. I'm not a person who really knows how to deal with frozen burrs so you're better off asking probably someone who's a farmer or knows about animals. Would you ever film a documentary or a movie? Okay, so I remember a few like weeks ago actually I was talking about obviously how I made a short film quite a while ago. Obviously it's still there now, I've never actually shown it to you guys. It was for like a project but I have still got the actual short films. So I was talking about obviously showing it to you guys and releasing it as a sort of like public, as like, I don't know, a short film. So I've still got that I'm still considering as to whether to release it and show you guys or not. But so as of now I'm a bit like, more than I have to release or not. I have got a short film. But as for documentaries, I was going to film a documentary actually for, you know, about a few months ago actually. I floated the idea of filming a documentary. I'm not going to tell you guys what it's about yet because I'm not sure if I'm still filming it or not, but I was considering it back in like the summer. But now I'm not really too sure. And someone's done a movie. Okay. I would love to film a movie, but I'm not sure. I'm just very busy at the moment, so. All that to kind of like on hold in a minute. If bacon is bacon and cookies are cookies, then how can we bake cookies and cook bacon? When I was like looking at that question, I my mind literally was like puzzled, but now I'm not what you mean. So bacon obviously well it says you bake bacon, it's like bake can and then cookies are cook keys. But when you think about it, you do the opposite, so you cook bacon and bake cookies. Do you know what? 
That is actually quite a good question. I'm not sure either. But then what happens if you start calling it like bakeys and then cookins? Oh my god, that's actually a really good idea, actually. Anyway, so that's the end of this video. If you liked it, don't like it, don't forget to subscribe, I'll do all the things. So yeah, I'm gonna love yous and leave yous now. Um, and so yeah, keep a lookout for more videos. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!